Hello everybody and welcome to the Entertainment Cube. I am your host, AJ Tulip, and I'm here with the one and only Blaster12534. What's up, what's up, what's up? And now if you hear some background from my side, that's because I am in the dining room. Because I'm eating a Pizza Hut pizza. <clears throat> Okay, so, um, just a little update, since, um, the teaser, um, the teaser was just us uh, ranting about, uh, Sp the Amazing Spider-Man, and, uh, with two of our other friends that, sadly, are no longer gonna be a part of this podcast, but they, they said we can continue. It's a bummer. They said that we could continue, so, uh, today we're gonna talk about, uh, Smash Bros, Swing Copters, Borderlands, the pre-sequel, and Mario Kart 8. <laughs> So, uh, and extra, and an extra, and if there's time. Yeah, and the extra secret bonus game at the end if there's time. Uh, so, Swing Coppers came out. It's basically a sequel of Flappy Bird. And uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't think we needed this. No, no, I don't, I don't think we needed no. this at all. It's even a lot. It's a lot harder than, and um, Flappy Birds. It, it, yeah, I, I hate it. And like they, they added I more characters. I already. What? Continue. I already broke two phones with it because <laughs> of that. I think the worst part is like they added an update just like Flappy Bird where there's like more colors, but then they took like half of the colors away. No! I know! It sucks. But yeah, basically the creator, he took down Flappy Bird and now we have a sequel. And then Flappy Bird's apparently coming back. So uh, how do you how do you feel about this, Jaden? Um, I'm having a great I'm having a great vibe from it. Yeah, that, I'm glad they're putting Flappy Bird back on. I, I'm just not sure about Swing Copters. I, uh, as you know, I am I really don't have didn't break two phones from Swing Copters, but I don't want to play it. I've tried it out from. I'm AJ Tulip. <laughs> I me. both loved it and hated it. Yeah. It, it just it, it suited my taste, but it was so hard. Yeah, like one of my friends like told me I was playing it wrong, and then he showed me the controls, and now I have an addiction to it. It's terrible. Yeah. I I I had a dream where I just heard the 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 noise that happened. I have when, a dream. When you get a point. Yeah. But yeah, it it's like Flappy Bird, but you fly. Basically. Yeah, fly. I believe I can fly. So yeah, basically, <laughs> it's another terrible game that we don't need. Okay. Yeah, but we are willing to play. Yeah, it's on the top charts, too. Ugh. It's terrible. Oh! Oh, iTunes. So, yeah. On top of that, guess what else is was in the top charts? Really? It was, um, it was on there two times. I, in a row. I Let me guess. As it starts with the Angry Birds... Wait, did I already say that out loud? No. And here's the twist. Aw. 
Did I get it wrong? Yeah, you got it wrong. It was a uh, Kim Kardashian Hollywood. And it Whoa. was it was it was um it was a uh, 20 and 21 at the same time. How can that be? I that's because because it's 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 Kim Kardashian with a K. The the power of the K, like just hmm. I I don't know. I mean I mean really, people waste their money on virtual huh. clothing. Like doesn't that just sound great, right? Yeah. I, I don't know. And it teaches <laughs> and it teaches my sister who plays the game how to be a total diva. <laughs> hey, it's Kim Kardashian calling. Like literally, I play. I played it. Like I tried recording it. Oh God, I I I just it was terrible. Like every two seconds, like you'd either have to like go to a fashion shoot or like Kim Kardashian would be calling you on your cell phone. And it's just like I I I don't I don't care. I I don't care. So yeah, yeah, you're 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 definitely not missing out on anything, Jaden. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, definitely not. No, I'm not. So uh, yeah, I guess, is that all we have to say about uh, the the um the swing copters? Um, I think that is. I think it is. Yeah, uh, I I figured that'd be a shorter story. Now to move on yeah. to something. Flippin' amazing. So, um, a leak came out for Smash Bros. showing Shulk from Xenoblade. And then, like, a week or so later, he got confirmed. So basically... Awesome! So basically, the whole leak is confirmed. Yes. I love it. How do you feel about this? Oh, um, I think it's great that they're adding new characters from other games. It just seems so amazing that they're they're um, uh, changing it up. I know they already did it with the on the you hey did it on the Wii, but this is just wow! I can they're actually he he adding a lot. They're making it you so you have a lot more choices, and I'm, I can't wait to play the new characters. Yeah, we also Here's. might be getting Dark Link, Doctor Mario, and Duck Hunt Dog. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. So uh, this is gonna be sweet. Yeah, I I don't know much about Shulk. Cause I don't play Xenoblade, but uh, he looks to be like Xeno. the best sword fighter that Nintendo has in this game. Cause even though he has a sword, he has like much longer ranged attacks and stuff. That's gonna be awesome, my man. And um, reading from what I see right now, his main weapon can attack from long range. Okay, so. Yeah, that's pretty much what he explained. Oh, various arts. I don't know what those that means. Yeah, neutral the, special. His his man his uh Minoto. I I don't. Excuse me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, I, like I said, I don't play the game. Um, gives a mask to various Japanese symbols, which activate his specials. So he has jump, which hires jumps and lowers defense, speed. Which is faster movement, but it weakens attacks. Shield, which is higher defense and slower movement. Buster, which is stronger attacks, weaker launch ability. And then Smash, stronger launch ability, weaker attacks, and lowers defense against launching. I think I'm going to like that move because it fits the whole game. Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Bros. Exactly. Yeah, get it? I'm gonna like that move that, that, once I learn how to use it. That, that'd be great. So, how do you think they're gonna implement yeah. this mechanic into the game? Like, do you think like you like? I really have no. I, you'll press a button like on like your three dash or like Wii U, and it'll like go through the different modes. 
where you left off, or like each time the sword is going to reset itself? I think it's going to reset itself, and I think it's also going to have to be a combo move. Personally, that you have to learn somehow. Personally, I hope it just goes where you left off. Or, like, you press a button and then, like, what direction you want, and that's, like, what the sword, like, powers up as. That's, that'll be interesting. But, yeah. All we'll have all, to just wait and, we're gonna have to wait, we're gonna have to wait great, and see. Yeah, he should make a great addition to Smash. Yeah. Yeah, and then he has, Jolk, a, his, he has, you're like, gonna be... <laughs> yes. Okay. Shulk is going to be a great addition to the Super Smash Bros. Who's? Who's? I hope he has a great time in there. Yeah. And now you can continue talking about, about it more. Yeah, and in the trailer it says Fork for. <laughs> I called him Fork. <laughs> 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 Fork wow. stabs in the Smash Bros. <laughs> Fork. A, a catch in utensils enters Super Smash Bros. It's gonna. Fork cuts uh, his way into battle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, in his trailer it says Shulk foresees a fight, which means he he can see the hit, the attack before it comes. So that acts as a a counterattack, much like those of um, the Fire Emblem characters, and it's his down special move. It's one of his down specials, and it's called the oh. uh, the vision. And then it shows um him like like getting almost about to get attacked by Bowser, and then like like he sees it before it happens, and then he turns around, and then Bowser's ass pretty much gets kicked. <laughs> yeah. Their ability, their ability to see the possible future. That's a, that'd be an amazing ability. I wish I had it. Yeah. Hmm. And, uh, his final smash is called Chain Attack, and he summons... Again, I don't know who these characters are because I don't play the game, but uh, it summons Dubon, Ricky, and they perform a chain attack on the opponents before finishing them off with a strong sword slash. That's amazing. And then That's going to be a strong final smash. Yeah, so it's basically like him... I, I don't know who these characters are again, but I'm looking at a photo of the Final Smash, and it looks like it's like him, this weird, like, monster-looking creature, and another human, and th th that's his Final Smash, basically. Whoa. Are, are you looking at the... Well, the, you see what you have there, man, people. Are you looking at the, the link I sent you? Yeah. Okay, so 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 you see what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about the the final yeah. smash? It looks it looks good. Yeah. Especially with that Pokemon looking monster. <laughs> I don't play this game, so it looks like yeah. a Pokemon. And then uh I guess we should yeah. also talk about um that that Ricky character. Uh he he's I guess now an assist trophy. He or she. Hmm. And it uh, takes, um, mm. it's, rumor has it since, um, what he does in the Xenoblade Grand is take enemy health and give it to you. That's what he's going to do as an assist trophy. What, what do you think about that? Oh, that's going to be very uh, helpful if you I get him. I know. I think um. that's going to be pretty good. Because then, like, you can, like, perform, like, a devastating blow to your opponent, and then you can gain, like, energy from them. Yeah, and possibly you win the game like that. At, on hard, and versus computers. Yeah. And, um... 
some of his um, costumes got revealed as well. And there's this one where he's literally just in his boxers. Oh, I see it right now. And he just has abs. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought that was a pretty funny addition. And then, the, of course, there's um the pilot swaps. There's, like, a red outfit, a white and gold outfit, and then, like, a black and red and tan outfit. And then there's just the one where he's naked. Yeah. Yeah, so... Oh! Oh. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Oh no! I think Shulk yep. is going to be um, a really great addition to Smash, and uh, even though we have a lot of sword fighters, I think um, his weapon wor works a little bit differently than just a normal sword. So, should be quite interesting. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Um. And more Nintendo news. We have. The Legend. The Legend of Zelda X Mario Kart. So, uh, uh, uh you want to start this one off, Jaden, since I started With off three. the others? Well, okay, so, uh, The Legend of, of Zelda X Mario Kart, or eight. um, I really have no, th no, uh, I just really recently heard about this, but, but I l I'm going to like it. Uh, they have a new vehicle called the Blue Falcon. And, you know, it's one of the many he from the F Zero series. I have no idea what that says. I'm just uh, yeah, reading it from it, the wiki. It, it, pre it previously he, appeared in Mario Kart Wii, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. And um, uh, some some three new characters: um, Cat Peach, Tan Tanuki Mario, and Link. I think we. Yeah, um, you you know Cat Cat Peach and Tanuki Mario if you've played uh, Super Mario 3D Land. Yeah. Personally, I think it should be the other yeah. way around, and it should be uh, it should be uh, Cat Mario and Boomerang Peach, in my opinion. But that's just me, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, you get Link, Tanuki Mario, Cat Peach, the Blue Falcon from F-Zero, that was in Mario Kart. We apparently, I don't remember that being in the game, do you? No. Yeah, me neither, so that, I, I don't know. And then, it, it hasn't been confirmed yet, but based off of the pictures, it's pretty safe to say that Wario's gold mine will be returning from the Wii. A track based off of F Zero. Really? Yeah, a track based off of F Zero, with the starting post saying F Zero instead of Mario Kart, and then a track from the Excited Bike series with ramps for tricks. So, how do you feel about those tracks? I love them. I, 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 I've played on them before, and I love them. I love them. I fell in love with them once I played it. When I pl after I, I tried it again, I failed at them. I got in last place. I was trying to do too many tricks. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna like I'm gonna really like the Excited Bike in F Zero ones because I played a little bit of the F Zero mini game in Nintendo Land, and if it's anything like that, that's just gonna be insane. Plus the zero, yeah. the zero gravity on top of that, because of Mario Kart Eight. So that should be really, yeah. really good. And then the F, um, the Excited Bike yeah. one, just like a shit ton of jumps. Like I could see you going like upside down, and then like jumping off of a wall, and then you're back like right side up or something. Yeah. That's gonna be amazing! If you pre-order both DLC at the same time, you you can get it for like $3 deeper if you bought them separately. So for a total of like $11 instead of 16 if you got them separately, if you both get them at the same time, your pre-order bonus... You don't even have to pre-order it, but if you just get them at the same time at least, right? 
Guess what you get? What? Colored Yo. What do you get? Colored Yoshi and Shy Guy. So let me go through the. <gasps> let me go. Oh. Yeah, I know. I know. Amazing. Let me go through the colors here. We got original, light skin, light, light blue Yoshi, black Yoshi, red Yoshi, yellow Yoshi, white Yoshi, blue Yoshi. That it's more of a dark blue, but it's it just as blue. Pink Yoshi, orange Yoshi, orange shy guy, pink shy guy, blue shy guy, white shy guy, yellow shy guy, green shy guy, black shy guy, the original red shy guy, and, and so yeah, and, yeah, and turquoise, and this yeah. shy yeah. guy, turquoise or cyan, I don't there's, care. There's no uh, tracks yet confirmed, but uh, the cups, the new cups in the DLC. Will be the Triforce yeah. Cup and the Yoshi Cup. Yeah, I can't wait for them. I uh, if if they're confirmed, I'm gonna like like I'm gonna like try out the Triforce first. First, that's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be totally new for me. I know. I I can't wait to record it with you when I get my recording software. That's right. I'm gonna record Xbox and Wii U stuff soon. Yay! And uh, and every now and then I'll be with them. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> also, Jane, don't you have an announcement? Oh, what is it? I forgot. Can you hit About me? About your channel. Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! I nearly forgot. Uh, today um. I'm going to be posting my first uh, episode uh, of a Skyblock series I'm doing with AJ Tulip yep, on Skyblock on a multi multiplayer si uh, server. Um, by the way, it's going to have a little laughs and little references from other series. Uh, you, if you have no life, you might know them. <laughs> But I have a life, so at the beginning I had I had no idea what the reference was. So, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um. Also, should we continue? Yeah. Also. To our next. The, um. Uh, the 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 Legend of Zelda, Mario Kart 8 DLC will come November of this year. So in a few months. So, that's exciting. Look out for that, everyone. Yeah, next that is. Up, we have to. I'm um, keep it. This good. one we have to wait until May, so we have to wait a little bit longer for this one. But it's um, Animal Crossing, and we get the villager. Oh, really? Isabel, huh. Dry Bowser, and then we get four new vehicles, and then eight tracks. Oh. Huh. We get um, the Tanuki Leaf Cup and the Cat Bell Cup. Real? I have, I didn't, I don't even know. You know. Whoa, that's that's going to be very so basically, awesome. Basically, if you get both DLCs, um, right? That's a total of six characters, eight yeah, vehicles, get, and sixteen tracks. So basically, it's like you're buying a whole other Mario Kart for the price of, like, not even one. Not bad, right? Not yeah. Yeah, you could. You could probably just leave out every single other character and get that the DLC, and it's a steal. Yeah, I think the funniest thing is going to be Link driving around in a Mercedes. <laughs> Can you what? imagine such a thing? <laughs> That's going to be hilarious. It's going to be the best. I have... <laughs> yeah, it is going best. to be fun. Which, by the way, the DLC, the the Mercedes <laughs> DLC is free. So, uh, that's great. That's great. Have, have make sure to have fun with it, and match it up with characters that don't go with. It. I know it's ba basically what I hope happens is like, I mean, not to say that they're gonna give up on Mario Kart, but maybe instead of Mario Kart, just make it Super Smash Kart. And then bring back Pac-Man from the arcade version. 
Oh, that's going to be um, that would be amazing. Or, or at least that Pac-Man oh, has I didn't DLC. Even know that. Or at, at least that uh, Pac-Man has DLC because he used to be in the arcade version at Chuck E. Cheese's back before they had uh, like cart customization and um, uh, what's it called? Um, um, like um, stats and stuff for your cart. It was on the arcade version, right? Impact. Yeah, I remember. I now yeah, I remember. Yeah, Impact yes. was like one of the fastest characters because he was so light. Yet I would never choose. Yeah, I always picked Pac-Man. But, but yet I would never choose him. I didn't even know that. Till also, now. If you thought we were done with the Nintendo news. Well, Nintendo is just releasing a. No, I. <laughs> you didn't. Uh, Nintendo's just releasing a whole bunch of news lately. So uh, apparently we have yeah. the new 3DS. Really? Yeah, it got Wait. revealed in a Japanese Nintendo Direct, and it adds a second analog oh. stick, um, two more um, trigger buttons, ZR and ZL, and um, you can uh, take off the the front of your DS and the back of your DS, and basically it can be whatever design you want, whenever you want. And that's going to be handy for people. So let's who, say you wanted to switch. For let's say you wanted to switch colors. You don't have to buy a whole other DS. You can just get a different faceplate. Oh wait, and here and here's something I have just now thought up of with the new design. They can now play, make rated M games for Nintendo. For a new yes, yes, Why yes. Why do you say that? Uh, I am a per I don't know. Oh, I'm actually just, you might they might you never know. I think they have one. It's called Bayonetta. <laughs> a rated Yeah, I always want I like rated M games. I like um Bayonetta 2 rating. We're in the middle of a podcast. Do it later. This is for the podcast, though. Yeah, um, they actually do have a rated M game. Uh, it's Bayonetta. Is it the only? Is, is it real? Um, is it the only one? Yeah. Well, actually, they have like Batman and Watch Dogs for Wii U, but that's not officially made by them. Technically. Yeah. So it comes out in uh, two colors. The new 3DS will be $154 and come in white or metallic black, while the new 3DS XL will be $181 and come in metallic blue or metallic black. What do you think about that? This is all going to be so amazing. How do you feel about this, Jude? It's going to be so cool. It's going to be so cool. I have a great feeling about this. Uh, it's going to be uh, bring a new age of ga um, uh, hand of gaming. Yeah, uh, we're getting it in America next year. Probably. That's what everyone's guessing. Curse! Curse you, Japan! Yeah, meanwhile, Japan is getting it in like a few days or so. A few months? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, also in Japan, they have like. So what else? They in, in, in Japan, they just made a turquoise 3DS XL, and I want it. <laughs> it looks amazing. Well, if you want to fly to Japan, oh, and you could get or it. I could order it online, but I don't need to because I already have a regular 3DS. Uh, yeah, but yeah. also the new DS should be faster. And you can uh, put um, amiibo figures right on the screen. So, what do you think about that? Amazing. Yeah. And and also, in unrelated news, it was, uh, there's a tornado in West Est in Indonesia. <laughs> I should. Was it, is it a hurricane? What the heck does that have to do with gaming? <laughs> I don't know. I, I just I, you wanted me to be random, and I don't even think that's. I don't even that's. I don't even believe that's true. I had you made it up. It could be that. Yeah, I made Show it up. Goes out to fake tornado people. 
affected by the fake tornado. Moment of silence. Okay, okay, moment of silence over. <laughs> okay, let's get let's continue. Okay, f last <laughs> bit of Nintendo news. If you pre if you if you buy both copies of Smash Brothers, the 3DS and Wii U version, you get the soundtrack for free. Oh wow! I w I wonder what the soundtrack it's is. It's basically all the music in the game. Okay, I thought. It Nice. I know. Nice. Nice. And then, technically, this is Nintendo okay. news, but um, I, I felt Pokemon sh deserves its own category. N um, Pokemon yeah. in the UK just got confirmed that the limited edition ones are going to come with um, a figurine in a steel box. In a what? steel box, yeah. Okay. So um, so, oh, um, Greg, hey, get me a flight to the still UK. No word if we're getting, it's on still stat. No word if we're getting it in America, but in America, we, um, when it first comes out, if you get it, like, when it comes, during the launch, um, they're gonna have an event, Shiny Beldum, with its Mega Stone. Yeah, it so was. basically you get a free Shiny Metagross. That can mega evolve. Ah, uh, I know. Sorry, right just, now my my left leg is hurting a bit. It's it sounded like you were getting really. My, uh, my left leg is a bit like sore. You were getting really excited. <laughs> like oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I I I I just can't wait because instead of breeding for a shiny, then I I just get a free shiny and then I can fix the stats later. Ma amazing, amazing! Look what Pokemon is making. So anyway, b before we move uh, on to Borderlands, uh, which uh, game will you be getting, Ruby or Sapphire? Uh -oh. Um, that's gonna be a hard one. I'm getting both. Um, uh, Ruby Sapphire. Of course, you're getting I, both. Well, I've been getting both for the past couple. I think couple. I'll be huh. getting. So I'm a completionist. I think I'll be getting. Uh, okay, it's um with uh with Ruby I could get Groudon mm -hmm. or and, Primal and, Groudon or I could if if I get Sapphire yeah if I get at Sapphire Primal I get Kyogre. Yeah. Kyogre. And then yeah. there, we're quite we're, it's it's a hard Kaisa choice. and Latias are and Latias are probably gonna be in both. Yeah, uh, what, I bet you get you get to see Ladio, Ladia, yeah, or Ladios were, uh, once you the, beat the Elite the new, Four. Uh, the new trailers, so they're definitely there. They're probably gonna get a Mega Evolution, like in the leak that came out. So, wait, do I man? Do you think it'd be interesting that at uh, Deoxys will get at um at different uh, Omega forms I, because it has has I, I different think that forms. Would be too much. Like maybe instead they'd get. Yeah, we're, instead we're, of all I'm, those forms, maybe they just get rid of all of them, like combine them into one sort of, and then that'd be his mega. That would be amazing if they could pull it off. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna I, say congrats. That, that'd be pretty I'm gonna good. Say congrats. And then. Yeah, it'd be Another amazing. Cool thing, That's what like it'd how be. You have trainer customization. You can now dress up your Pikachu. Like I guess. Wait. And then depending on what your Pikachu you is, can, depending on what your Pikachu is wearing, you can um, get an, an exclusive move that he can't normally learn. And the different the different outfits are Pikachu Pop Star, Pikachu PhD, Pikachu uh, Sumo Wrestler, and Pikachu Rockstar, I think. And then. Wait, is it all? It's all. Is it limited to only? Yeah, just Pikachu? Pikachu. And then, like, depending on what outfit he has, he gets like an exclusive move. 
So like, I know for what example, the move going you can get like a Pikachu that knows Icicle Crash. Wait, depending on its Icicle Crash, that's going to be totally awesome, is it? Yeah, amazing. Defend himself against fighting types. No, make it to something that really matters. There's for a uh, pick it for electric type. type. It's either going. To, it's going to have. It has to be uh, strong against either rock, ground, or ground. Yeah. So um. I guess that's all we have for Nintendo slash Pokemon. Now for our final story of the day. Borderlands, the pre, the, the Possibly. Borderlands, the pre sequel. Yeah. Um. So, Borderlands, Borderlands, the pre sequel is will is um being published by the Two K Games. Um, and the developers will, are Two K Australia and Gearbox Software. So it's pretty much uh, you know the story about of Borderlands and Borderlands Two. But what you don't really know is the back, the story behind, behind the story. That's as you can see from the pre-sequel. Well, um, it's all based on the moon, and one of the moons above Pandora, I think. I think I'm get, this is yeah, half what, knowledge. Yeah. So if it's not, yeah, I think I, you're right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's one of, on one of the moons. Moons. Um. So, oh, uh. It's pretty much so. You are playing uh, as either uh, Nisha, the Law Bridger, her uh, first appeared in Borderlands Two as a sheriff of the town of Lynchwood or Lynchwood. Yeah. <laughs> if you played it, if played if you played Borderlands Two, that you'll know her. Her. Um. She's a bee. I can't say say the full word because my family is uh-huh. home. It became, uh, her primary skill is showdown, increases gun damage and speed. Ah, that's going to be a lot. Allows player to quickly he switch between enemies in the area. Her streak skill is called law and order. Or I, I'm, ah. Yeah, also, um, uh, let's actually talk about other people besides okay, her. Okay, okay, basically her. all you... And also, well, we're going keep to... Going. Okay, so um, also we're going to be. Oh uh, man, I I don't I can't see. Oh wait. It, um. Oh, do you know Claptrap? I know Clap he's from Borderlands. Be a playable character, and his special skill is called Volt Hunter Exe. That that's all you need to know. <laughs> that's all yes. you need to know. That's all. Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm a. Uh, you're you actually you um, uh, hired by. That's, okay, that's, the background. That's all I need to know. Okay, so, uh, the storyline for the um, the pre sequel of Borderlands is that that Hampton Jack to sum it all uh, up that is that before Hampton Jack was the president of of um, a Hyperion Industry, he was the C- CEO. Oh, and he hired you. You to go who uh, was t- has um was to go to who uh, one of the Hyperion moon bases to capture her 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 or someone I don't know I this is half knowledge um I'm on the wiki by the way I don't want to say anything else just to get more detail just look up on the wiki or look somewhere else so oh you're just yeah, morally good intentions. Oh yeah, by the way, hey, this and this is something new in the Borderlands and um, uh, um yeah. Uh, you actually have you have to, you can actually choose what your character says. It's yeah, this is something new. Even I was surprised when I found out. Oh, yet it had seemed just a new who way to play a hey, Depending on what your character says, is, it determines the storyline. It's a new way of roleplay in 
in the Borderlands world. I love it. Oh yeah, and by the way, um, I nearly forgot uh, um, uh, the new vehicle, the Sparrow. Wait, was it the Sparrow? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I don't know the vehicle's name. <laughs> um, uh, well, there is actually, there is a new vehicle for the Borderlands. Hands. Hands. Uh, um, it's pretty much equal to uh, motorbike, take take to for other games. Hims, it's amazing. It it could shoot. It um, is like most of the vehicles in Borderlands. It could shoot, but with and it could also jump with with air. Emma, uh, yeah. I, I also for people who don't know, oh the Borderlands has also added had a jetpack. Heck. That just only and works you if you perform double jumps, if you, hovering, um, uh, and use your air attacks with the jetpack. Oh yeah, and also there's a new element. And if if you don't know, if you didn't know, oh the new element, I think it's ice, and it's so cool. Well, you could shoot your opponent and freeze them. You can make them slower, and and once in a while you could totally freeze them. Um, and you could bust yeah, them up. Yeah, it's called cryogenic elemental well, also, effect. Also, if you kill them in, <laughs> yeah, cryogenic. Awesome. Yeah. Also, yeah, I'm, uh, here's something I'm focusing. Yeah, I'm, I'm now I'm going to be focusing on a little, little some something little, little okay, with Jane, the little details. You, was that just something a little fact Jane, that I like? Before you continue, I just need to say a few things about this because you kind of took over. <laughs> so, uh, okay. First of all, um, <laughs> sorry for all you people. I that, yeah, before. I know. It, it's okay though. You 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 did good. <laughs> for all you people that own a PlayStation Vita, it um, there's gonna be um. A spin-off called Tales of Borderlands and Borderlands 2, but really, I don't see why you'd want a PlayStation Vita when you could just get a 3DS. I mean, I mean, what does the Vita have going for them? Little Big Planet. I mean, really, I mean, it's a good game and all, but you could just get a PlayStation for that. I mean. 3 3DS has Pokemon, Smash yeah. Bros, oh, so can I etc. So yeah, um, a little bit more of the storyline, Jaden, that I'm gonna help you explain better. Okay. Um, Handsome Jack. It'll focus on Handsome Jack and his attempt to escape his prison on the Hyperion Moon Base and capture it him for himself. You will begin the game as his henchman, and oh. Jack will have good intentions, but slowly transform into the evil villain you know him as in Borderlands 2. Cutting people's eyeballs out with a spoon. <laughs> 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 wow, that's. The I did CEO not expect of that. Gearbox. <laughs> that, I can see right that the game would explore how villains can be morally ambiguous, doing possibly bad things, Vicious. but for good reasons. That will reflect what Handsome Jack is doing. There are several quests in the game where literally the only narrative purpose they exist for is to show you that the bad guy you're fighting is not actually a horrible person. So basically what they're saying is, he may be a bad guy, but he still might be nice. So basically, he may basically, be a little messed up. But if he's... they're mental or on drugs, I mean, they could still be a nice person. Yeah, he was a good guy before he went into Pan. Before I mean, he landed I mean, on Pandora. He may break... I basically. Mean... I mean, he may, like, punch you a lot, but he's still nice. Like, rude pe- If you like, get rude, to his good people side. people are nice, too. <laughs> uh. Yeah. So, can I- So, can I continue? I, I think- I think we should talk about Minecraft 1.8 and then wrap up. 
Oh, oh yeah, 1.8. Hey, so... Take it away, Jaden. Oh. This is all you. <laughs> you. You shall continue. Okay. Oh, 1.8. Oh, 1.8. Hey, 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 um, the rule, um, the update, it, that was called the, the plentiful update. Eight. Literally, it's called that. And mainly because it, it, yeah, it was, it's very amazing. Very amazing. So much stuff was added. added. More mobs. More blocks. Blocks. X made loading the world a little easier. And may has less, may have, may have less lag than you do. And that, and I'm saying this for the people who, who have, don't have very good computers. Here's. There's, you're lucky. So oh, there's going to be the um, a new new place, new bosses, what? A new boss. It's, it's, it's under underwater. It's underwater. What? Tell me more. Yeah. I really don't know that much about about the new <laughs> boss. I haven't seen it, but it, to get to it, you have to face Guardians. face these um uh, yeah. fish called the guardians. They look like little eyeballs. They're pretty much very OP. I yeah. They look like uh, eyeballs with like, sticks growing out of them. Here's the thing. <laughs> they should all. Oh. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, they do. Um, uh, they shoot a laser. The laser they looks pretty much so shoot a laser easy. at you. <laughs> you. You. It does tons of damage. Yeah, but you think nothing less of it I until know, you get hit. It, you don't think nothing of it yeah. until you get hit. It, it's it's just very annoying. They're just very <laughs> annoying to deal with. It's so uh, good luck the for people who like find the boss. The only thing I don't like about 1.8 is because you and me were camp. working on something for, for our audience. What? Uh, but 1.8 pretty much broke Bucket. And now Bucket might not even exist. So oh, yeah, our I trolling series that we were planning on that might sucks. might take a back seat for a little bit. Unless I get a an older server up for like a different version or yeah. if they get their stuff together and fix it up for one point eight. Yeah, they should really do that. Uh, so Oh yeah, here's the thing, they're gonna be having adding a new potion and it's called Lily. The leaping potion, so you now you don't have to build a uh, a uh, a beacon and and to get leap, which is going to be amazing. And you should, you could just uh, they're um, they're adding uh, another ingredient, which is a rabbit, a rabbit's huh. leg, rabbit's leg. Am I saying that? Is that right? Is that right? Yes, rabbit side. Hey, there as I said, new mobs, new mobs. They're going to be. New mobs, new animals, amazing! I wish there was a new biome. Um, oh yeah, you could also make banners. I, that would be that's to going to be that, very so. helpful with um, the faction that. stuff. Yeah. Oh, they also they also making armor stands, but, which but is going pointless. to be nice. Now here's something that's very new and will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but here's something that will, is going to be very ha handy. You can make different wooded doors. Depending on the wood that you use, the door would look different. So, people who love designing, you're pretty much going to have a blast with this. Yes. No more regular doors. Get, get out of here. No enter. No see the new ones. Basically, Minecraft is becoming... <laughs> <laughs> They're so Minecraft awesome. Minecraft is becoming mods the video game. Like they added in armor stands, bunnies. What's next? The Aether? I'd hope so. Well, that would be a I new. I know, and then I can dimension. I can pretty much have my modded survival. That'd be awesome. But I don't need mods anymore. That'd be great. It'd be great. Yeah, what no. I know it would be very interesting if they could if I could, they could make it a little yeah. bit more industrious. That's for, but that get a but that just made him a put out the feel of that it, it was being in the mid medieval wish, or just 
Uh, caveman time. I also time. some simple things like emerald armor, emerald tools. Make it stronger than iron, but weaker than diamond. No, and how then, about a little less armor, than diamond? And obsidian tools that'd be stronger than diamond. No, you're just no, getting no, ahead no, of. Hear me out. And then and I then, think you're getting I ahead of yourself. Wish for the ability to make hammers. That'd make a really powerful weapon. Hammers. Dude. Plus, the crafting recipe is so simple. Just take yeah. it from a mod like they've been doing with everything else. Right? Anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that would be in that'd be interesting to see. Um, I think we should... Yeah. This is this is just We've, wait. How long is how long the pod, how long about has an the pod hour, which is like the average that on. most full episode <laughs> podcasts are. So we're doing really good for our first episode, our first official episode. This is pretty good. Let's 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 clap for yeah, ourselves. Yeah, I hope. Yeah. Okay. Um. So um. Um. I don't really have um a name for this segment yet, but I figured we could end each episode with just like a funny unrelated topic. So, um I I picked out this one. Okay, I guess so. you could pick out the next one for the next episode, but um it's called Burger Brawl. <laughs> so, um what? a guy went to Burger King. <laughs> wow. And um he got mad. So um basically he starts punching the employees Why? over a sandwich costing a dollar and six cents. Why Cause I don't trying, get it. Yeah, is it, what is he this was a trying crime? To do was he was yeah, it did, happened. Did this on actually King. happen? It happened uh, in 2011 on the 10th of March. And um, they said that they didn't know his identity because he hid it well, but basically he was trying to steal this burger because he, he didn't pay for it, right? Because it cost a dollar and six cents. So he got really mad and um, he pulled out a gun. And, and yeah. He pulled a gun yeah, if you want to, to look steal up, a up sandwich. The video, you can look up Burger King assault on an angry um, customer at a burger. CNN. In fact, uh, I'll play a clip right now. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but uh, I'll describe what's going on. King. She thinks that somebody spits in her sandwich, this is so going she goes to, be to good. complain to the manager. So, um, the manager just the good, woman everyone. That stole the sandwich. Um, she didn't steal the sandwich. I got that part of the story wrong. She saw um, the custom the employee spit in her sandwich. So she asks for a refund, and then they wouldn't give her a refund. So she gets really mad because she's like, "I, I bought it with a dollar and six cents." And then basically she goes berserk and all super saiyan, and she starts punching out the manager. So um, how do you? How do you feel uh, as oh, wow. an American yourself that we have stupid idiots like this punching people over stupid things like cheeseburgers? I'd, I'd say this. I'm going to, in ways I agree with her, and in ways she overdid I, I don't it. have the clip. I'd play right now. Um, but, I think um, she... Um, the, the clip would go perfect for this situation. It's basically a ringtone and it's like, hey, 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 go fuck yourself. <laughs> okay, so pretty Get it? much because I'm, uh... they're being really mean and they're making Americans look bad. Yeah, this is just yeah. going to be great. So, um, hey. yeah, this has been another episode of the Entertainment Cube. I'm your host, as always, AJ Tulip, and, uh, Blast and I'm the co-host.
three, uh, four. One, two, five, and, three, um, four. Uh, yeah. Jaden, <laughs> uh, do you want to tell them how they can find you? Yeah. Well, just search up on YouTube. Once my channel is actually posted a video, because you can't find it unless I posted a video. Oh, just search up on okay, YouTube. And, plus uh, one, two, five, three, four. You guys want to find me? At AJ Tulip on Twitter, Vine, and then AJ Tulip on YouTube, Xbox Live, the real AJ Tulip with spaces, and uh, yeah, that this. Oh yeah, and uh, and also, oh, um, every now and then we'll invite a friend to talk with us. Every now and, and then, and there'll be a guest. Maybe if we get guest. more popular, we'll so. have like some pretty cool guest stars on. But I don't know how far this is going to go. Five years later, oh, we amazing. have PewDiePie! <laughs> if I, we I get would, that I far, would die. okay. I would die. We might as well. If, and if we could actually meet him in, in person, that'd be great. That'd be great. I, I'm going to say this to him. I don't watch your videos, I did, but I. I didn't, but then oh, wow. I did. <laughs> but. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I'm just gonna say I I'm gonna have bragging rights that to say that yeah, I should, met like, him in person. We should plan to go person. to like a convention in the spring, like PAX or something, or like Comic Con, and then we should just like walk up to like YouTubers and like interview them. <laughs> this is going to be. This is this is, will like, be just fi totally just, like, new to me. Just pull out my iPhone and yeah, I can start filming it. That'd be great. <laughs> No, <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying we're doing that for sure, guys. But if if we if we if yeah if, if we're lucky, go, if we we're lucky, I know our parents are gonna let us, but you never know. I mean, I, I'm getting a PC and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff, so I'm not gonna push my luck. <laughs> anyway, this has been another episode of the yeah. Entertainment Cube. Hey. I am AJ Tulip. This has been Blast, and this is Blaster One Two Five Three Four, and. Have a very yep, and it's time to say cube. No, I'll 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 work on the catchphrase later. Bye. Bye. See ya. Have a beautiful day.